Hey guys, I'm Nice Mark, and welcome to 256 facts, tricks, tips, glitches, basically things that you might not know about Minecraft. So it's going to be a pretty long video, and I hope you guys enjoy. And by the way, let me know in the comments how many of those things you knew and how many of those things you didn't know. Alright, let's start. Hmm, I wonder what time it is right now. Well, it is daytime. Why? Because look at the color of the fog. It has a grayish color and that means it's daytime. And if we set the time to night, for example 15,000, the fog has a very dark black color. So that's how you can tell if it's daytime or nighttime while you're underground. Now, while it is a nice feature that lets you know the time of the day, it can still be pretty annoying. For example, if you're building a base underground, you can't see anything. And to fix that, just dig a hole to the surface. And now if we go down, there is no fog. Harvesting one block of obsidian with your hand is going to take you 4 minutes and 10 seconds. And you are not going to get the block, so maybe it's not very smart to do so. If you use bone meal on grass, you can make it grow up to 2 blocks tall. The music disc 11 is the 11th music disc in the game. It is also the only music disc that is shattered to pieces, and that is why the end is static. It lasts for 1 minute and 11 seconds, and outputs 11, when you put it in a jukebox and take an output with a comparator. Using fence gates for animal pens is not very smart, because the animals can escape. You should use a different fence post or carpets instead. A single block of glass can absorb almost all of the damage that is taken by the TNT. And we are on hard mode. The ability to throw eggs was added after a player said that he would eat his USB if Notch added it. And you can guess what happened. Um, yeah. Cats and ocelots don't take fall damage. No matter how you place them, pumpkin stems are always going to be pointing northwest. Both boats and minecarts have health. They have 6 health, which is 3 hearts. And boats also take 4 damage, so if you push them from high up, they are going to drop and break. And minecarts don't take 4 damage. A hopper minecart can be disabled with an actuator rail. And the effect persists even if the minecart gets off the actuator rail. And it can be enabled again by riding over an unpowered actuator rail. Snow golems have heads under their pumpkins. You can find pink sheep naturally, but they are very rare. Pink sheep have a 0.5% chance of spawning, while skeleton jockeys have a 1% chance of spawning. The we need to go deeper achievement is an inception reference. And achievement get is a Japanese Mario reference. The best tool for melons is the sword, and for pumpkins is the axe. And stone is actually an inverted cobblestone with different colors. You can't open a chest if there's a cat sitting on top of it. Try naming a sheep Jab with an underscore and see what happens. Or how about you name a mob Dinnerbone or Grum? <coughs> St 
Steve's weight is 431 kilograms or 916 pounds. One cubic meter of goat or one block weighs around 19,300 kilograms. A stack in Minecraft would weigh 1,235 tons. And if you fill up your inventory with gold blocks, it is going to be 44,467 tons. And you can craft a golden apple by placing an apple in the middle and surrounding it with gold blocks. So that means a full inventory of golden apples, which are enchanted, is going to weigh 355,737 tons. Can you imagine that? The Titanic's weight is about 52,310 tons. So Steve would be able to carry about 6.8 Titanics in his pocket, or that would be about 1.5 thousand Statues of Liberty, which are 225 tons each, or 48.7 Eiffel Towers, which are 7,300 tons each. Now you can take all of that weight and sit on a pig, or on a donkey and put stuff in its inventory, or on any other horse. And a lily pad can hold all of that, or a one pixel of water can stop all of that weight from falling from several thousands of meters. Now while Steve is so strong, he still doesn't quite manage to hold more than 36 bottles. Uh, maybe they're heavy, maybe he has trouble with holding them, well, we will never know. Notch drops an apple on death. Put a name tag on pets and you'll be able to see the death messages of your pets when they die. Bats can't be attached to leads, even though they're passive mobs just like the cow or the pig. The flower pot, ender chest and item frame were all suggested by the community and they were implemented. There are 16,777,216 combinations of colors that are available for the leather armor. Codrons can undye leather armor, collect rain, be used with potion making, and if you're on fire, extinguish you. It is also the only source of water that is available in the nether, and it is not going to evaporate. The pistons used to be a, a mod, but later on they were implemented into the actual game. Endermen await any projectile that is shot at them. A full diamond set in Minecraft weighs 526 kilograms or 1160 pounds. And it is also worth more than 86 billion dollars. The Earth is smaller than a Minecraft world by 7,000 times. Far Ends used to exist before the adventure update. They were 12.5 million blocks away and their corners were 17.6 million blocks away. That is from spawn. And they were basically the end of the world. The surface area of Minecraft is 3.6 quadrillion cubic meters big and that is basically 36 with 14 zeros at the end. And this is the end of the Minecraft world in one of the snapshots. It's 30 million blocks away from spawn and if we touch it, we get kicked out. 
Do you remember how much a diamond set weights and costs? Well, one strong strike from the sides is going to break it, because it's made out of diamonds. And diamonds are pretty vulnerable at some spots. Jeb showed a test dummy to Notch, on which Notch jokingly said, there should be snowmen that throw snowballs, and so, snowmen were created. Herobrine does not exist. The first time Mojang wrote removed Herobrine in their changelogs was when they removed the old Steve coding. After that, it was just placed there as a joke. You can use bone meal on tall flowers to get copies of those flowers. There is a very simple trick to launch fireworks horizontally, and that is just build a tunnel and put water there. And now... The fireworks are launched horizontally. Redstone dust is invisible from below, and so are the bottoms of comparators and repeaters. A boat on land can destroy snow. Everyone knows that you can breed chicken with normal seeds, but have you tried melon and pumpkin seeds? There are currently almost 15 million copies sold of Minecraft, and every day 15,000 new copies are sold. Healing potions actually damage on dead mobs, and potions of harming heal on dead mobs. Baby mobs will follow their parents anywhere. You can change the dog's color color by clicking the dog with different dice. Milk reverses all potion effects, and it doesn't matter if they're good or bad. A working sponge used to exist, and it is currently in the game in the creative menu, but right now it doesn't do anything and before it would remove a 5x5 five five area of water around it. You can make a creeper explode by lighting it with a flint and steel. You can push almost all mobs into minecarts. Shooting an arrow through lava is going to set it on fire. Dirt slabs used to exist. It is possible to store 31,104 coal, iron, gold, emeralds, diamonds, lapis or redstone in a double chest in the form of solid blocks. And that's what of diamonds. I'd estimate that you have to dig around 15,000 diamond ores with fortune 3 to get this amount of diamonds. If you stack 3 minecarts on top of a rail, like this, one, two, three, and then power the power trail or give it a push. The minecarts are going to travel on forever until they reach another block or another entity. Like this. Now you can do something similar but with minecarts with TNT and I guess that's a little bit deadly. Well, see for yourself what is going to happen. Okay, so it's coming, it's coming, and... Did you expect that? Okay, so, yeah, don't play with TNT, guys. It's dangerous. And yet another use for the stacked minecarts is if you place a chest, a hopper pointing into the chest, a rail, and a hopper on top of the rail, and then place a block here, and place a lot of minecarts with chests, which are stacked, you can basically get infinite storage, so each time you place a minecart with a chest, you get 36 slots of storage, and you can store all your, all your items into this hopper. And our chest is already full, as well as our hoppers are, and the drops are going to be staying in those minecarts. And now if we take something out of here, it is going to refill from those minecarts. 
And finally, I've got one more use for the stacked minecarts and it is for collecting drops. So here I have three stacked minecarts and here I have a single minecart. And let's see. So as you can see, the three stacked minecarts can collect drops, while the normal one on rails isn't going to collect drops. So keep that in mind. You can swim up water streams through corners of chests. And that is because chests are actually smaller than one block. Press F3 and B and you'll be able to see the hitboxes of entities, including yourself. You can ride a pig in a saddle, which is riding inside of a minecart, to make some sort of a car. And the controls are backwards. And if you're riding a saddled pig in a minecart on rails, you don't need power trails to travel. Animals are attracted to light. You have a higher chance of catching fish while it's raining than while it's not. And also make sure that there are no blocks above the fishing rod, because else you're going to get a decreased chance of catching fish. If a creeper gets hit by a lightning, it is going to turn into a powered creeper. If a pig gets hit by a lightning, it is going to turn into a zombie pigman. And finally, if a villager gets hit by a lightning, it is going to turn into a witch. Minecraft worlds are made out of 16 by 16 areas, chunks. And if you can divide your coordinates by 16, those are your X and Z coordinates, then you're standing on the edge of the chunk. And chunks go from Y0 to Y256. Creepers are actually floating. There is a 1 in 10,000 chance that the title is going to say Mint's Raft instead of Minecraft. If you want to make yourself a quick house, just dig down one block, place a red mushroom and use bone meal on it. And here you are in your house. And by the way, if you're doing this on the surface, you're going to need to build some sort of a cap to protect the mushroom from skylight. Squids spawn only between Y45 and Y62. Someone buys a copy of Minecraft roughly every 5 seconds, so assuming you didn't skip any parts of the video, around 200 copies were sold already since the start of the video. Oh, and there goes another copy. Notch almost called Minecraft Cave Game. And Minecraft uses textures from Notch's earlier game called Robidung. When asked the player's name, Notch replied Steve with a question mark. And the question mark has become a part of Steve's name ever since. The original Steve skin had a beard and many people assumed that it was a mouth. Well, it was actually a beard. Since boats and minecarts have health, it is faster to destroy a boat or a minecart with a sword or any other tool than it is with your fist. Helmets, chest plates and leggings have different names when they're made out of leather. We have the leather hat, the leather tunic, the leather trousers and the boots stay the same. A day in Minecraft is 20 minutes long. Cobblestone takes longer to mine than stone. Primed TNT is going to fall 77 blocks before it explodes. If you shoot an arrow at Primed TNT, it is going to bounce off. Eggs have a 1 in 256 chance to hatch 4 chickens at once. All hoes deal the same amount of damage. Mojang was originally known as Mojang Specifications and it was then changed to Mojang AB. And on the subject of pronouncing... Notch said he pronounced it Mojang while speaking English and Mojang while speaking in Swedish. 
When Bethesda, the creators of the Elder Scrolls series, tried to sue Mojang for the attempt to trademark Scrolls, Notch responded by challenging them to a game of Quake 3. If Mojang won, they would get to keep the trademark on Scrolls, and Bethesda would drop all charges. And if Bethesda won, Notch would rename Scrolls. And you can guess who won. Sugarcane was originally called Threat and it was changed in Minecraft Beta 1.2. Skeletons, Wither Skeletons, Zombies and Zombie Pigmen have a very high chance of spawning with a pumpkin on their head during Halloween. And with the pumpkin on their head they are basically immune to sunlight. Golden armor and tools might seem quite bad because they break quickly, but they are good for enchanting. Trying to sleep in the nether or in the end is not a very good idea. Crying obsidian used to exist and it was meant to mark the spawn point. It was later on replaced with bats. The enchanting table uses the standard galactic alphabet. Other Minecraft characters like Steve used to exist. They were called Rana, Black Steve and Beast Boy. And this is how Minecraft looked a couple of years ago. So it's basically just a flat grass surface and you can place cobblestone, break it, break the grass and uh, it's very fun I guess. In some of the older versions of Minecraft, left click was used to place blocks and right click was used to destroy blocks. And also apparently it had those crazy people, guys, thieves, um, that jump around and swing their hands. Gears were planned, but later on they were replaced with redstone. At the time of the video, there are 61 unique biomes in Minecraft, which are separated into 5 categories based on their temperature. There are also 33 mobs in Minecraft, 10 passive, 5 neutral, 13 hostile, 2 utility, 2 bosses and 1 U. Sometimes forest fires can occur naturally because of the lava spawning near forests. You can run and jump on water with lily pads. While most texture packs or resource packs in Minecraft are 16x16, 32x32 or 64x64, they can actually be made 128x128, 256x256, 512x512, 1024x1024 and so on and so forth. And they can even be 8x8, 4x4 and 2x2. Minecraft Beta 1.9 was actually never released. There were a couple of pre-releases and after that came the 1.0 update. If you sneak over redstone ore, you're not going to activate it. An activated furnace, glowing redstone ore, unpowered torches, and activated lamps are all different blocks. There are quite a few types of horses in the game and there's also a secret type, it's the undead horses. So if you type this command you get a skeleton horse and if you type this command and just change the 4 to the 3 you get a zombie horse. And you can even ride them. Obsidian, Bedrock and Command Box can actually be blown up, but they have a very high blast resistance and the TNT that is in the game is not strong enough to blow it up. And even if you place several thousands of TNT, it is still not going to be strong enough because you need a strong explosion that is coming from one TNT. So this means that you're going to need to use a mod. Unlike other minerals, Redstone is the only mineral in the game that is totally fictional. Place sugarcane below a vine 
above sugarcane or a cactus and they're going to stop growing. Water can hydrate farmland from four blocks away and also one block below it in the same radius. The animated background of the main menu in Minecraft is actually only six images in the form of a cube which are blurred dynamically. Snowballs deal 1.5 damage to blazes. The guest sounds are actually from C418's cat. When mining obsidian, place a water source down and it will make your life a lot easier. So when you break obsidian, no obsidian is going to burn and you're not going to burn either. But make sure the water stream doesn't end or else you might burn. When you're caving, you can bring yourself some glass and remove the lava and you can still see through it. And this way, maybe there are some diamonds hiding. Who knows? At the time of me making this video, there are 15 capes in Minecraft. And also there are 3 extra capes which were unused. The lucky buyer of the 1 millionth copy of Minecraft, Acorn Man one received a special cape to celebrate 1 million sold copies. The end text or the end poem after killing the dragon and leaving the end is seven and a half minutes long. Eating and climbing a ladder doesn't slow you down unlike eating and walking. Passive mobs are always going to spawn in groups of at least two. So if you find one pig, there are going to be more. And same goes for the sheep, for the cows and other passive mobs. Creepers were made by an accident when Notch was trying to make a pig. Put a name tag on a hostile mob and it is not going to despawn. And you can basically keep this mob as a pet. You start taking damage from the void after you reach Y-64. Fence gates placed between cobblestone walls are actually lower than normal. Throwing a splash potion on top of your head is more efficient than throwing a splash potion at the wall or at the bottom of your feet. So as you can see here we have around one minute less and here also one minute less but here we have the full duration. If a passive mob dies while on fire it is going to drop cooked meat instead of raw meat. You can sleep during a thunderstorm to get rid of the thunderstorm. Ocelots spawn only above Y65. The Wither attacks all living entities, including the Ender Dragon. Um, okay. <laughs> if the Ender Dragon dies while near an Ender Crystal, it is still going to draw a healing beam from it. The Ender Dragon is never going to attack any entity on purpose. But the Wither boss is going to try to kill everything. Sheep regenerate wool by eating grass, but did you know that they can eat grass through small blocks like the slabs, the cake or the daylight sensor? Wolves and iron golems can be hostile towards you even in peaceful mode, but it doesn't seem that wolves deal any damage unless you go into a difficulty of at least easy. Villagers communicate with things and also with each other. Um, yeah, okay. No, no, no. Uh oh, it's not safe around here. Creepers drop records when killed by skeletons. A sky dimension was planned, but it was later on replaced with the end. When endermen were first introduced, 
They were called the Far Wonders. The Ender Dragon is the only mob in the game that has a specific gender. And her name is Jean. Out of all the blocks in survival mode, Endstone has the highest blast resistance. Enderman sounds are made from someone saying hi, hello, what's up, they are reversed, distorted and slowed down. Enderman will not get upset with you if you wear a pumpkin on your head. The name Ender Dragon was first made known through a tweet by Notch reading which could be decoded and that translates to Ender Dragon. The reader is constantly adapting the speed to the player, but if you're on a horse you can actually outrun the reader. The command give your username minecraft spawn underscore egg 164 is going to give you one spawn egg of the reader but nothing is going to happen when you use it. Jeb accidentally created full height terrain while modifying the world generation code and Notch suggested to keep it as the amplified world type. Repairing items by putting them in your crafting box is going to combine their durability and add a 10% bonus but it's going to get rid of any enchantments that your tools have. You can feed pigs with a carrot on a stick and it's going to make the pig go faster, but in return it's going to take away the durability of the carrot on a stick. Multiple item frames can be placed within the space of a single block, pointing into different directions. The dots on the command block are slightly off-center. You actually don't need to craft the compass or the clock. Just lay down the recipe and you can check where the spawn is or what time it is. The swine block and the water bucket can save you when you're falling down. Holding the jump key while falling on a slime block will reduce the bouncing effect. Shears don't take damage when destroying wool, but they do take damage when you shear sheep. Using tools for things that they weren't made for is going to take away more durability than usual. So as you can see it's taking away 2 durability right now when we hit the ship. And if you use it to dig, it's going to take away one durability. Skeletons and zombies don't burn during the day if they're standing on soul sand. There's an invisible saturation bar that goes along with your hunger bar. And after it is depleted, your hunger bar is going to start going down. And different kinds of food are going to give you different amount of points for the saturation bar. Explosions before Minecraft Beta 1.8 didn't have the shockwave particles and the only visible particles were the smoke particles. You can make any door zombie proof just by raising it by one block. So right now the zombie can't reach it, so he can't break it. You can convert zombie villagers back into normal ones just by throwing a splash potion on them and then applying a golden apple to them. And there he is. So after shaking for around like 5 minutes or something, the zombie villager turns back into a normal one. Tile entities have no relation to entities. An entity is an object which exists in the world but isn't a block. So 
A dropped item is an NC, players, mobs, paintings, item frames, minecarts, boats, arrows and other thrown items. And a tile NC is extra data which is stored in a block. So for example, items in a chest, records in a jukebox and water in a cauldron. So of course there are more and for that you can just look tile NCs up on the Minecraft wiki. Iron golems don't suffocate underwater and they also can't swim. So endermen aren't the only mobs that aren't able to swim. The leather armor design, armor mannequin outlines and apple and iron sword sprites were also used in Notch's RPG Legend of the Chambered. Chain armor is unique in that it is the only default armor with large amounts of transparency within the armor and every other pixel is transparent. Except for the front of the head which has a clear space for the face and other areas which have no covering. The chain chest plate has longer sleeves than other chest plates by one pixel. The chain helmet covers all sides of the head completely except the face. Unlike most helmets where the face has a nose guard and the sides aren't covered fully. Chain armor can be repaired with iron ingots. If you want to build an upward staircase without placing the extra block, just use a torch. So place your torch and then I am here, jump and place the block and continue on. Cave spiders are 0.3 blocks high and 0.7 blocks wide, allowing them to fit through gaps the size of a single slab. They can also check the player through walls unlike most other mobs. And when attacking, cave spiders use a poison which reduces the players to half a heart, allowing them to be killed instantly with a single hit. And this is a huge wither, and that's because withers are actually smaller than fighting, so with a little bit of command block magic uh, we have something a little bit crazy. You deal critical hits when you're falling down and not when you're jumping. A fully charged bow is going to deal a critical hit. There is a 5 second kill timer after hitting a mob, so no matter if you were the one who killed it or not, it's still going to drop XP and rare drops. This is a one way door. The next time you're going to be chopping trees, grab a weather with you. It's going to help you reach the top of the tree. And then you can get your weather back. Witches drink potions. And if you kill a witch while she's drinking a potion, she's going to drop the potion. So you can create potion farms with this. Witches are only going to throw harm potions after they poison you first. You can create your own villages and expand existing ones by building a house and putting a villager in the house. So it doesn't matter what size the house is and it doesn't matter what material you build it out of. What matters is that there is a door which has access to skylight. You can use ender pearls to go through walls. And this can also be used to go through ceilings and also the nether ceiling. Don't do this, because this is not efficient. If you want to have a signal that is going upwards, just do this. So as you can see, swaps and ghoststone work just fine. And they also take less space. And if you use swaps, they take less resources as well. Enderman and spider eyes, blazes and also magma cubes go in the dark. Mobs don't want to fall down more than 4 blocks, so this zombie here is pretty much stuck forever. 
and Mobs AI doesn't see carpets, so you could create invisible barriers by digging down 4 blocks and placing carpets on top. And now you can walk over it, but mobs are afraid of walking over it because there's a 4 block drop down there, but unfortunately they don't know that they can walk over carpets without falling down. Since a fireball shot by a gust is also an entity, you can do a critical hit on it. You can use name tags on the Wither boss. The Wither is 4 blocks tall, 3 blocks wide and 1 block thick. However, its collision box is only 4 blocks tall, 1 block wide and 1 block thick. The Wither isn't going to move too often if it has nothing to shoot at. <laughs> 